Oh, I did, John Edwards. Uh, I met him at the Full Business Gospel over the three counties in the 90s. And um, I was astonished uh, to see him have this wonderful motorbike. And I thought, you're driving this motorbike around. And he was in Newtown Farm at the time. And then he moved into his little one-bedroom apartment. And this is really where I want to share. He had very little to give. And, um, but he gave the most. Um, and a quick testimony was, I, I was in a cast uh, with my foot and I, I was made homeless for one reason or another. And John took me in for a few weeks and looked after and we fellowshiped and we had the most gracious time. And in that friendship as it built, I came and went, but every time I came, I made sure I had time to see John. And I'm amazed at how many places he fellowshiped how long he stayed for a place that he would give it commitment before he moved on to, I'd like to say, take his presence elsewhere. He was such a lovely man of God. And with the painting, um, some of you may have seen or may not have, he actually painted a portrait uh, of me that is on one of my CDs. And it was uh, called um, A Portrait of Grace. And I like to think that um, John, as as quite rightly said, a quintessential member of the Jesus family here, of which I can put on one hand the people that have been that helpful, and there's another person here, I won't remind them of who he is, who actually um, stood up and, and became Jesus and opened up what little they had. And I'm grateful for that, and I'm grateful that it was a time where I was being fed by ravens. And um, although John didn't have black hair, it was, uh, <laughs> it was certainly a time that I will remember fondly in the hair of it. Thank you. I'm just um, having thoughts here with regard to John Edwards and this wonderful artwork and all the issues at the end of his life and the things that have taken place since. So I'm going to contact CLC Church and as I understand that they have received several of his um, items and request that we actually have the paintings here in St Peter's. Uh, it'll probably be a long negotiation as it's <laughs> turning out to be at the moment, but um, I'm not going to give up and uh, let's just start with a good heart and hopefully that we can end up with some of his wonderful work here so that we can remember him in perpetuity. Yeah, I've known John for a few years. He was a member of our church and it's good that we can have a memorial service here at St Peter's. Um, I talked about a verse from Ecclesiastes where the writer says that God has set eternity in the hearts of men and women. And I thought that was very appropriate for John as he was somebody who realised that and died in the faith. And so while we sad at his passing, uh, we rejoice at his resurrection. My name is Christine. I've come here to honour the memory of John Edwards today at his memorial service. John was what I would call the quintessential local believer, member of the body of Messiah in a locality. From this town, my husband and I go out and minister to the nations, but always when we would come home to Hereford, John would make us feel so welcome and part of the body of Messiah. He had that ability to connect people. He also knew how to hear from God, and John used his artwork internationally through our ministry. Many times we had meetings in Israel, and John did the beautiful banners. Now, I wish I could show you some of those banners, but perhaps they'll be at our website at uh, JerusalemChannel.tv. And John would make these beautiful backdrops for our gospel meetings in the Holy Land and also here in England. So even though he was a wonderful local believer, he used his talents worldwide. He used that paintbrush. John was also a man without guile, and he knew how to hear from the Holy Spirit. He knew how to receive a rhema word, a living word from the Bible. And so even though he was a man without guile, a very simple man in many ways, childlike faith, there was a depth to John that we appreciate. May the Lord raise up more believers like John Edwards, and may his memory be blessed.